blue. Please, God, make it stop. I'm so lonesome for you. Hot baby goes. Cut that shit out, too. Watermelon baby goes. <laughs> How are you guys? How are you? Doing better than Jason or you, that's for sure. Me? I'm just enjoying my Saturday. Every day is Saturday for the unemployed. Kind of resting and relaxing and, and just thinking about next week and all the steps I need to do to move on with my life. How to snare another money bag, I mean man. <clears throat> I heard a watermelon go warrior girls. Just like rawr, rawr, rawr. I'm just I'm I'm just so blessed in my life right now you're homeless living in squalor as a 600 pounds baby incapable of taking care of your own and i just feel so loved in my life right now just i feel in an overabundance of joy and hope and faith and love and i i just i love it and all it cost was jason's bail money good for you what are my plans? Well, I have a couple live streams I want to do today. Um, me and the boys, we really didn't make any plans today. Well, we did. Well, we did kind of. We did have a like a coffee donut time together. Oops! You almost forgot. You told us that story. How you always get the boys donuts on Sunday. Um, we had a moment with coffee and donuts but like pretty much just relaxing chilling no next week she's gonna be busy so shani out here acting like she actually does anything other than ingest gas station food that's okay too it's so nice to be in the house with people that are just calm and relaxed and just chill Oh, I love it. Like, I needed this. Then why do you continue to poke at Jason's masculinity and berate him? Why did you push him until his mental health had gotten to such a terrible point? Like, I just needed my, my, like, me time, my space, you know, replenish my energy, um, learn how to be more like me, you know? The well of fortune dried up and Jason had nothing else to offer you. Oh, you meant my plans to get out and move on. That's a secret. Which is code for, I don't have a fucking plan. That's a secret. So, shh. She's only thought far enough to create this suspicious narrative, that I won't be believing until it's actually backed up by documents from court. I will say some plans. I, I, I want, and, and this has always been a dream of mine, I want a house that's like completely, completely like pink. Shani flexing her creative side, oh boy. I want my house to be nothing but pink like everything is pink like and if it's not pink it's white so it'd be like white and pink and 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 then cute things and cute animals all around very little girlish with what money i'll be honest but I, that little girl in me has never been nurtured she looking plenty nurtured a little too nurtured okay so i'm gonna nurture it i'm gonna be my own mama i'm gonna love myself you know what are you going to do about your kids i'm gonna romance myself gross that's what i'm gonna because really i was like thinking and i'm like what if i took a vow of chastity because like i'm not into sex like i used to be i really like i've experienced everything that i would ever want to experience in that area again gross you likely have a reduced sex drive from your obesity causing your estrogen levels to be insane. You've previously stated your cycles are not normal. Not a doctor, but you should go to the doctor, and not just for pain management. You know, I'm just like done there. I'm just like done there in that area. Like, I just don't want to date anyone. Like, I, like seriously, I'm like, I'm really like thinking like, would I ever want to date again? And I like, it's like, no. No, 
I really don't want to date again. And I, I, I know people are like, but you're, you're, you're still in your thirties, honey. You still have a lot of life. And it's like, well, why must a happy life be defined having a man? It's not. However, everyone can see through this as you planning on finding love, AKA a bank account again, much to your surprise. I, 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 I used to think that a happy life was defined about having a man and I always had a man and I was always miserable so it's like you'll be miserable without a man also why is the discussion about you solely dating men I thought you were a bisexual I just look back at those small little moments where I was single and I was like you know what I was truly happy then I was truly happy then and I'm happy now so you know this harpy will have her talons into the next weak-minded individual that crosses her path I wouldn't be surprised if she already has a plenty of fish dating profile. Just not into it anymore. I'm not into the romance thing anymore. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't want it. You know, it's never done right anyway, the way it should be. It's never like flowers and, and, and jewelry and, and, and it whispered me off to a beautiful place. It's never that. Whisking, whisking you off to a better place and you'd need a forklift operator to do that. It's never that, so why even try? Why waste my time thinking that a man would actually be like that? One must put work into a relationship. It's never solely the one partner's responsibility. Also, your standards are delusionally high for someone who has four teeth. They aren't like that, they don't exist. How is it going? Oh, very self-reflecting, very... Shani is doing an early victory lap. Watch for seismic activity. Um, eye opening? Okay, I've had enough of this video already. Shani is sitting on her throne of lies. Will G-Man kick her out? Will she be facing off with CPS? Whatever the case, it should be interesting to see what happens next. Thanks for watching and see you next time.